In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Excel to model Michaelis Menten kinetics. So when we're trying to figure out how quickly an enzyme is converting the substrate to the product, we have this equation that it does a really good job of modeling the process using two constants. So let's look at how to set up those constants in an Excel spreadsheet and how to make a graph of how quickly the enzyme is converting the substrate to the product. The first thing we need to do is we need to define our independent and dependent variables. So our independent variable, our X variable on this graph is going to be the substrate concentration. So I'm gonna make that the first column of the spreadsheet, substrate concentration. And the units for this is going to be molar. So what, how much of the substrate we have at any given time is gonna pr predict how quickly the enzyme converts the substrate to the product. The second variable, the, the dependent variable, our y variable on our graph, is going to be the velocity of the enzyme. So this is written as V or V naught. Um, the velocity of the enzyme is in units of moles per, molar per second. So it's units of concentration per second, and it's how quickly the product forms. This variable is going to depend on three things. It's going to depend on the substrate concentration, the Vmax constant, and the Km constant. So we're going to define those in the D column here. We're going to define Km and Vmax. And a typical Km is going to be a value less than 1, um, so we're going to use 0.08. And a typical Vmax is a value much greater than one. Um, so I'm going to use 2E5, so 20,000. Both of those values are now going to be used to define the relationship between the substrate concentration and the velocity. And we can paste in those equations. Um, I've typed them out in the mathcha math tool, um, so mathcha.io. And we see that the velocity is going to be equal to Vmax times the substrate concentration divided by Km plus the substrate concentration. So now we just need to define what values of S we want to map this equation for. So I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to go up in increments of 0.1. And once I type the first few in, I can highlight those in Excel and use this little tooltip that square to drag down to graph from zero to two molar for the substrate concentration. For the velocity, I'm going to define this as an equation just in the first um, row. So it's going to be equal to S times Vmax divided by, and I got to make sure I use parentheses so it divides by the sum of Km plus S, not just by Km, Km plus S. And I hit enter. Um, I get zero, which is what I expect. I expect the velocity when there's no substrate, so the amount of product formed when there's no substrate should be zero. And before I copy this formula, I have to make sure that every time I copy the formula, the substrate concentration changes. So as I drag the formula down, I want it to be the substrate concentration on the left, but the constants don't change. I do that by adding in dollar signs so that those cells are fixed. I only need dollar signs, um, but I can add them on the columns. So even if I moved the constants to a different part of the spreadsheet, it would still work. Hit enter, copy the formula using the square tooltip. And now I have a model of how quickly product forms from this particular enzyme. If I highlight the two columns, I can go to insert chart, select a scatter chart, and I get a nice picture of how quickly product forms. We see that it maxes out at Vmax. That's what we expect. We expect Vmax to be the asymptote on the graph. And we can look at any given substrate concentration. So I can mouse over. If the substrate concentration is 0.3, the velocity is 1.58 times 10 to the fifth. So that's the process for modeling 
Michaelis Menton Kinetics in Excel. If you have any questions on your homework, please email me.